Well, let's do some real world well pump testing. I got a half horsepower Goulds and a one horsepower Red Lion. The half horse Goulds costed me about a thousand bucks. The one horse Red Lion costed about 700 bucks off Amazon. You usually get what you pay for. So let's see how good an Amazon pump really is. We're gonna test both of these at 300 feet deep on one inch PVC drop pipe. We're gonna use the same PVC drop pipe and see how they do. Both are gonna be under 10 gallons a minute and under 60 PSI. So there's gonna be no performance gains by going to an inch and a quarter drop pipe. We'll be using a 12-3 wire, which is within specifications for both length and motor size of these pumps. There is a limit to your wire length, so you gotta understand your wire length and current draw. So let's test these guys out and see what kind of performance data we get compared to the actual pump charts that they come with. We got a tournament going on on the golf course today. A lot of hooting and hollering. Now back to our project. We got the digital gauge reading 25 PSI, but the water is indeed flowing, so let's see what kind of flow we have with the half horse pump. Alrighty, 25 PSI, half horse test, here we go. Well there you have it, just under a full bucket. Now let's give this a measure and see exactly what we got. Well, it's four gallons, just over a quarter. So we got four and a quarter gallons a minute at 25 PSI on the half horse pump. We're holding at a good 35 PSI. Let's try it again. Well, we're at three and a half, and we're just about four cups, so we're at 3.75. Three and three quarter gallons a minute at 35 PSI for the half horse pump. 35 PSI is a decent working pressure. You can run things at 35, but we're only getting three and three quarter gallons a minute, so we can't run much. Now let's try the same test at 45 PSI. It's reading 45 PSI on the money now. And there we have it. Well, I was at two and a half plus two cups. So it's about 2.6, two and two thirds gallons per minute is what that came out to. At 45 PSI, you're getting two and two thirds gallons per minute. Well, here we got the Red Lion pump. We're rocking at 25 PSI right on the switch. So let's see what our GPM is. Well, I don't feel like measuring that, so I'm calling that nine gallons a minute. We'll call that one a full five and we'll call that one four. So that's nine gallons a minute at 25 PSI for the Red Lion. We're holding at a good 35 PSI. Let's try it again. Well, that one's full. That one's right about a half a bucket. So without measuring, I'm gonna say five and 2.5. That's seven and a half gallons a minute at 35 PSI. Well, we're holding at a pretty steady 45 PSI. Let's see what we got at 45. Well, we got five and not very much. Let's measure that. That's five and a half. We're getting just over five and a half gallons a minute at 45 PSI. Well, we're bouncing between 55 and 56, so we're going to call this 55 PSI. And we didn't even hit a full bucket, but let's see what we got. A half. A one. One half. Two. Two and a half. Three. Three and a half. So we got about three and three quarters gallons a minute at 55 PSI. So there you have it. The buckets don't lie. Well, here's a real world performance curve that I made. Here's the half horse and here's the one horse. Obviously the one horse has much more range. And I didn't go up to 55 PSI on the half horse because that's only gonna give us a gallon or two a minute. And I wasn't even sure if we could get to 55 PSI. So you're very limited on what a half horse can do. But with a one horse, you can actually do something in life. The intent of the half horse was to flow five to six gallons a minute at no pressure just to fill a tank. That was the purpose of the half horse. 
but with a one horse, as long as you're not overdrawing your well, you can get within a working PSI range at your rated capacity. My goal was between 30 and 40 PSI at 5 to 7 gallons per minute, and I definitely hit that. It's right in the middle here. So for me, the one horse is working out perfect. The half horse did fine at filling the tank. It gave me 5 to 6 gallons a minute at no pressure, and then I ran a half horse centrifugal out of the tank which also worked, but you're running two pumps, a half horse well pump and a half horse centrifugal pumping out of the tank. With the one horse, I eliminated that, which has its advantages and disadvantages, depending on which way you look at it. Well, let's take a look at the Xylem Goulds pump. They give you a good manual, but it's general. It's not specific to your pump, so it won't have your pump curve in it. You gotta go online if you wanna see the pump curve. Here's the pump curve. The half horse is that bottom line they give it to you in feet of head and meters of head. I've never had a meter of head before. But if we scroll down, we'll find the comparison chart. This is us right here, the 5GS05, the half horse. So we'll be looking at this data. If we look at the chart I made, 50 PSI would come down to about a gallon and a half to two gallons a minute. And if we follow the 50 over to a gallon and a half to two gallons a minute, it's gonna tell us our water depth is around 240 feet. We can do the same thing to 40 PSI, follow it to the curve and go down. And that says we're gonna have about three gallons a minute according to my curve. And if we look at the 40, follow it over to three gallons a minute, you can see it's gonna tell us about 230 feet. So that's pretty dang close. And if we check out 30 PSI, follow it over, my curve says we're gonna get about four gallons a minute. So let's look at 30, follow it over to four gallons a minute, and that's telling us about 230 feet deep again. So this is pretty close to the real world conditions. They're not lying to you here. The Red Lion pump also comes with a decent manual, but it's general, it's not specific to your pump. But they do give you a performance chart right on the box, which is good handy information. It's nice to have it right on the package so you don't have to go online and look it up. Here's 300 feet, that's the pump depth. Here's 240, this is where I got good water. And if we follow down at 30 PSI, we got a maximum of 10 and a minimum of 6. So our answer lies between 6 and 10. If we look at my pump curve, we'll follow over 30 PSI and we'll come down and I'm reading 8. My real world curve says 8, which is right between 6 and 10. If we take the 40 PSI and follow it down, our answer is going to lie between 4 and 8. If we take my real world curve at 40 PSI and follow it down, I'm reading 6 and a half. So that's pretty accurate. Just because it's a red lion, doesn't mean they're lying to you, so that's good to know. For a cheap pump off Amazon, it's actually pretty decent. At 50 PSI, there's a pretty big jump. It says between one and six gallons per minute. And my real world chart says at 50 PSI, we have four and a half gallons a minute. So one to six is a pretty broad jump, but it's within the range. So that part's mostly true. The real question on how good a well pump is, isn't within the numbers, but how long it lasts. You usually get what you pay for, so the cheaper pumps usually don't last as long. But the numbers are pretty accurate and pretty close, so they're not lying to you, at least not red lying to you. And for the cheap cost, it would make a good backup pump, in case you needed something in a pinch, or right now. Guy can afford to stock this and keep it on the shelf. That way he always has something to back up with in case something fails. So when you think of it that way, it's not a bad pump.